Hello everyone, welcome to Indie Year. Here, we focus on indie game development in the hopes of getting your game finished and profitable. I am your host, Devin Ayer, and today you're in for a treat, so let's hurry up and get to our workstations. We're using Unity 3D to make a Mega Man game. Not the typical side-scrolling platforming shooter everyone is familiar with, but instead, the Mega Man Battle Network's iconic tactical battle grid mechanics. For this project you will need the following. A computer, Unity 3D installed, and your own assets or those provided in the low bar below. Hopefully, you're familiar with getting Unity set up for Android development, which is the platform we are building our games for. This means, if you haven't already, making sure your SDK, JDK, and building settings are all configured to deploy APKs to your smartphone for testing your prototypes. You can relax today. As the first video of our series, we will just focus on setting everything in the right place. This is so we can almost get immediate gratification in our game already having the appearance of Mega Man Battle Network. Let's begin. So we're going to begin by making sure that we have everything set up properly. And the way that we do this is we go into our assets folder and we begin placing some folders in here. Next we have our regular scene here. And we're gonna start off with a just place directly in the center. So we have our red cube. Now we are going to want our character to be on a flat surface. So for instance, we could just quickly create a plane. So let's do that. All of these should be zeroed out. It did it because it's going on top of the cube, which it didn't have to. I guess the cube was kind of in the way. Um, so maybe we should have made the plane first. And the plane just kind of sort of helps us see the grid a little better. Um, but also it helps us make sure that we're on um, a surface. So let's change the name player. From here, we can begin to set up the other cubes that we will use. So. First, we'll create a cube. Next, we'll take and move said cube. We want these zeroed out, but under the model, let's lay it flat on the grid, alongside the grid. So let me see if I can, one, choose this and move it out the way, just so you can. So half is on the grid, it's center, and half is, uh, we actually want it to be below the grid. Not mistaken this is the y-axis so we can put it at uh, zero negative 1.5 and as we can see the very top is basically on the plane it's right there I don't think there's any space between it I don't know you know there's no space so first so I'm gonna make cool. this plane invisible um, so we can't see it so it's out of our way what's gonna happen is we're gonna want this to stand on the planes, like right at the top, see that? And its position isn't perfect as well. So we'll hit uh, zero that out. From there, we decide what kind of cube this is. It's gonna be the red side cube. So we'll place our red side cube material on here. And now the entire thing is already covered, okay? Now we want this to kind of be the front um, the front cube, if you will, so it's going to be, it's going to be these sets of cubes, and this one can either stay the middle, I would like it to stay the middle, and then we'll adjust accordingly, duplicate the cube, and we want, because that way it already has the transformed position here, and we just want to move it over one space. Yellow is Y, red is X, blue is Z. So we hit one and that has our position that we wanted to move like so. Duplicate this cube again. We'll move it again on the Z axis and instead we'll go to negative one. 
highlight all three by holding the shift button. We hit duplicate and now we want to move it along the X axis. So we do X, uh, I believe it's negative one and that will move it back. Duplicate what we have highlighted again, duplicate. And we'll move this already on the negative one position. So now we just go negative two. And there we have the grid set up like we want to on one side. Now, typically uh, in the game, your character normally starts either directly in the middle or directly in the back. Um, we're going to want to start our character directly in the middle. So we're going to move like so best to do again another negative one right so it's right in the center when everything starts okay now we can also take connect them all to the center cube so parent them all to the center cube so that if we move the center cube uh, we move all of the cubes um, however you can decide which one you want to move um, yourself so we'll say three and we'll rename it to center cube. You can also rename it from here. So we'll do cube center. All right. And from there, we just center all the cubes or parent all the cubes to this one cube. That way, everything um, that is connected to this cube moves when this cube moves that there we go and they're all parented so since this is the center cube when you select the center cube every other cube is going to move with that cube make it just makes life a little bit easier create a, another cube for the opposing side um, we can have it plus one on the x-axis. After we do that, we're then going to take and drag our blue material like so. Duplicate the cube so that one position is already taken care of. We're going to move it on the z-axis. We can hit one. Select all of these. The two. Duplicate these three along the x-axis. We're going to take all of these, find the center cube, blue center cube, parented to that cube. So all of them have been parented accordingly. And this is pretty cool. This is pretty good. Now, next, they still need, uh, they have the cube mesh and they have mesh renderers. They also have box colliders, standard. Um, so really everything should already be set up the way you would need it to.